Hello dear children welcome back I am Dr Jisha Jo in this uh, session we shall study the structure of cilia and flagella both cilia and flagella are locomotor organelles uh, they are present in both prokaryotic as well as eukaryotic cells that is they help the cell in movement or locomotion both cilia and flagella are similar in structure but how will you differentiate cilia from flagella cilia are shorter in size and more numerous in number when compared to the flagella flagella are fewer in number and they are longer in length so that is how morphologically we differentiate the cilia from flagella cilia are more numerous in number and they are shorter in length whereas flagella are fewer in number and are longer in length now whether it is cilia or flagella the basic structure is the same so uh, if you look at the cilia or flagella both will have a basal body that is a basal body there that is the plasma membrane e embedded inside the plasma membrane is a basal body and arising from the basal body there is an axial uh, fiber an axial fiber is present this is called as the that is the axonem axonem and surrounding the axonem is the plasma membrane that is the plasma membrane that surrounds the axonem that is the uh, basic uh, structure of both cilia and flagella so there is a basal body the basal body will be seen embedded in the plasma membrane arising from the basal body is a central axial fiber which is called as the axonem and surrounding the axonem there uh, is an outer covering which is made up of plasma membrane so that is the outer covering of plasma membrane this is how uh, cilia or flagella look like okay so cilia both cilia and flagella are similar in structure having a basal body that is embedded in the plasma membrane there is a central axial fiber which is called as the axonem and the axonem is uh, covered by the plasma membrane now we shall move on to study the structure of the cilia or flagella now uh, as uh, we have already mentioned it will have an outer membrane which is the plasma membrane that is the plasma membrane inside the plasma membrane is the axonem isn't it the axonem is present inside the plasma membrane that is the plasma membrane the axonem is present inside the plasma membrane and this axonem consists of nine pairs of peripheral uh, microtubules both cilia and flagella we have seen in the previous class is made up of microtubules microtubules are cytoskeletal fi fibers having a diameter of about 24 nanometers isn't it so uh, these uh, Uh, cilia as well as the flagella are formed of microtubules that is the axonem axonem is the central axial fiber that is present inside the plasma membrane we are taking a section of this and that is how it will look like okay so there is the outer plasma membrane then inside the plasma membrane there are nine pairs of peripheral microtubules okay nine pairs of peripheral microtubules One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine pairs of microtubules. 
microtubules are present at the periphery i'm just i have just drawn only one of the pair one member of the pair that is the second member okay so the, there are nine pairs of peripheral microtubules these are since they are in pairs they are called as the doublets peripheral doublets okay these are the peripheral doublets they are uh, nine pairs of microtubules that are arranged at the periphery or uh, at the sides that they form the peripheral doublets and if you look at each pair you can see it is formed of two subfibers one of the subfiber is complete one of the uh, microtubular subfiber is complete and the other is incomplete okay so it is formed of nine such pairs of microtubules which uh, are called as the peripheral uh, microtubules or peripheral doublets and at the center there are two central microtubules they are not seen in pairs but they are seen singly at the center they are seen singly that is the central microtubule central microtubule they are uh, there are two but they are not arranged in pairs they are uh, present singly central microtubule both of them are the central microtubules and you can see a sheath surrounding the uh, there is a sheath that surrounds the central microtubule that is the sheath there okay that is the sheath which surrounds the central microtubule and the two central microtubules are connected by a bridge there is a bridge which connects the two central microtubules that is the bridge Okay, I hope that much is clear. So, inside the plasma membrane is the central axial uh, fi fiber that is the uh, axonym and this is how the microtubular uh, fibers are arranged inside the axonym. The axonym consists of 9 pairs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 pairs of uh, peripheral microtubules which are called as the peripheral doublets. Then there are two central microtubules, they are arranged singly and uh, since uh, they are, there are 9 plus 2 at the center, this arrangement is said to be 9 plus 2 arrangement. Okay, 9 plus 2 arrangement. This arrangement is called 9 plus 2 arrangement because there are 9 peripheral microtubules and 2 at the center. This arrangement of the, the, the cilia and the flagella has a 9 plus 2 arrangement of the uh, microtubular fibers or filaments so uh, when we come to the central microtubules they are arranged singly they are two of them and they are enclosed within a sheath and the two central microtubules are uh, attached by a bridge now moving on to the peripheral microtubules you can see that uh, as i told you uh, they are formed of two subfibers if you look at the two fiber subfibers they are marked as a and b a is the complete uh, subfiber and the uh, b is subfiber b is the incomplete one and you can see that uh, the uh, uh, the peripheral doublets each of the peripheral doublets are interconnected as you can see here the doublets are interconnected like this by means of inter doublet linker 
the inter doublet linker that is the linker inter doublet inter doublet that is because it connects the two doublets inter doublet linker is present connecting the two adjacent uh, peripheral doublets okay that is the inter doublet uh, linker and in addition to the inter uh, doublet linker uh, the peripheral uh, doublets are also connected to the central sheath okay by means of radial spokes so there is a connection like this okay so the in addition so the doublets the peripheral doublets are interconnected by inter doublet linker and also the peripheral doublets uh, doublets are connected to the uh, central sheath by means of radial spokes radial spokes are present there okay so that is uh, the structure of uh, the cilia or the flagella so it is enclosed within the plasma membrane inside the plasma membrane we have the axonym there each axonym consists of nine peripheral uh, microtubular doublets nine pairs of peripheral microtubular doublets are present and if you look at each pair you can see one of the subfiber is complete and the other uh, subfiber is incomplete okay and uh, there are two central single microtubules and this particular arrangement that is nine peripheral microtubules and two centrally arranged microtubules this gives the arrangement as nine plus two this type of arrangement is called nine plus two arrangement and cilia or flagella has this nine plus two arrangement of microtubules and the two central microtubules they are found singly they are attached uh, uh, to each other by means of or linked to each other by means of a bridge surrounding the uh, central uh, microtubules is a sheath there is a central uh, there is a sheath surrounding the microtubules and there are uh th that means the peripheral doublets are connected uh, each of the peripheral doublet is connected to its adjacent peripheral doublet by means of linkers and these linkers are called as the inter doublet linker and uh, also the peripheral doublets are uh, connected to the sheath uh, by means of radial spokes so that is the arrangement of uh, Uh, the ax or the microtubules inside the axonym in the case of cilia or flagella so children in this video we have studied the structure of cilia and flagella i hope this session is clear to you if you have any doubts or suggestions please ask your doubts and give your suggestions in the comment section thank you